Hello everybody, do you want to know how to take better photographs with your camera, like with your digital camera and all that, even including with your phone? Yeah, this can apply to your phone as well. Do you want to know how to, you know, make all the subjects be clear and all that, you know, and just have the photo be perfect for everybody to show and for you to show everybody? Well. I'll tell you how. Well, so, the first, there's, the one of the first rules, there's like a major thing in photography called composition. Composition is basically the way you place your photo and how you uh, make it come across. So anyways, uh, one of the things of, uh, of, like one of the very first rules of composition is Actually, there's a, a type of thing called the rule of thirds. So, if you're wondering what that is, there's actually a, like, the rule of thirds means that uh, the uh, uh, thing that you're, uh, what is it, the frame? Yeah, the frame is split into three sections, both horizontally and, well, both horizontally and vertically. So, like, the rule of thirds would be about probably right here, and about there, you know, vertically, and then about, it's kind of hard for me to tell, but about there, and then about there, in the horizontal. So, um, once you get that idea, um, you'll be pretty good. So, normally you want to have your horizon, like, uh, not in the middle, like about here, more or less like there and uh, or also you can have it up here too depending on that what you're actually uh, trying to take a photo of now if the subject is facing towards this way you don't want to cram your subject on this side of the photograph and then it makes it look too crowded on this side you want to space them back like about in this area you know notice on how it appears to give it more room it also sometimes enables you to uh, notice what they're like, what they are actually looking at. So, and then at the same time, you don't necessarily want to have them like staring. You don't want to have them in the very middle of the subject either. But uh, it all depends. But if they're staring straight at you, yeah, that's where it's perfect to have it uh, in the middle. So. Um, let's see, um, and then there's also, uh, like, I'll give you guys some photo, like, I'll give you some uh, examples of photographs that I've taken for uh, the composition. So, um, the rule, one good uh, photo of the rule of thirds is actually right here, hold on, I forgot to set the desktop share on, so, share, okay. One of the one of the examples is in this photo here. You know, you might notice that I don't know if you can see my mouse on this thing, but notice on how the rainbow is not in the center of the photograph. It's actually on the left third, and then also parts of the edge of this tree is actually on the uh, third, or is on the right third. And then the horizon kind of here is very close to the bottom third. So, um, and then, so, yeah. And then also, notice on how I provided another type of uh, thing of the uh, composition method. Contrast. Now, granted, this was taken with an effect. But what I did, that even if I were to not have used the effect that I did, see this rain coming down that was because I took it near sunset so it actually allowed the Sun to shine through the uh, cloud you know shine through the bottom area of the cloud and be able to reflect off all that uh, rain and then here is another good example of the rule of thirds notice on it how um, the uh, uh, the top of the Grand Canyon area is at the top, uh, 
is at the top third. And then these trees are kind of near the top, or, or actually at the place, are placed at the uh, right and left, or the left and right portions of the, yeah, the left and right thirds of the photograph. So that gives you a good thing. And also, there's another type of composition thing in here as well. Nice, isn't it? I'm providing several different things in, in, in just one photograph, huh? But anyways, notice on how there's symmetry, too. Have you ever noticed the symmetry between the cliffs of the Grand Canyon here on each side? And then the trees on each side? That uh, provides a good view of depth and everything else, especially with these trees on the foreground, and then the thing in the background, and then also with the symmetry. It kind of shows pretty much how symmetrical the world is. Now, and then here's another, then here's another uh, example of symmetry, sort of. Um, notice on how I, uh, now this is a tree in our backyard. Sorry for the crap in there, but anyways, that's on how our uh, backyard was, <laughs> kind of. It still is, somewhat, with that wood pile. But, uh, notice on how I kind of made the, uh, 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 what is it? The uh, clouds kind of seem to radiate out from the uh, uh, tree. And if you notice here, I also kind of use the rule of thirds on this photograph, even though it's kind of a sloppy uh, thing of it, though, because I took the photograph at an angle. I didn't realize it, though, uh, until I had uh, reviewed the photo. But anyways... Um, and then there's some other examples as well of uh, composition. Filling the frame. So, here's a good example. Notice on how I made the uh, flowers, you know, these roses, kind of fill the frame of the photo that I took. That kind of allows for a good field, like a good uh, depth of view type thing, you know, depth of field, um, because notice on how the background there is blurred out. That, that is, that is an advantage of, uh, uh, using, of uh, filling the frame, you know? Also, if you ever notice on how so many amateur photographers, um, like, capture the whole, and capture a whole person, you know, like, for example, when they're taking a picture of their kid, they take, they uh, take them, you know, like from the feet all the way to their head. You don't really need that. Really, actually, and I forgot to put it in for a, uh, a example, but um, you only really need uh, from the waist up. So let me uh, kind of try to, or also from the chest up as well. It all depends. For example. This is my niece. Um, notice on it how I actually shot from basically the chest up. Because really, you don't need, you don't, nobody, you know, really needs to see from the feet, you know, from the hips down or anything like that, you know? Well, that's, that's not really a main point of interest in the photo at all. So, um... But, however, if there is also something of interest in the photo itself, such as in this photo, he was kind of trying to, now this is my nephew, he was kind of stomping around on the uh, cement there, but I also used the weeds as a point of interest. Kind of makes him looking like he's staring down at the weeds, right? Well... Yeah, a lot of times, you want to have something of interest in the photo as well. So, for example, if if you want, you can have something else be of interest as well. Um, and then... <coughs> excuse me for that. But, also, here's another example of filling the frame as well as using... Uh, 
you know, using your Zoom, which me, which uh, will also provide uh, uh, focus, you know, different points of focus. For example, notice on how I've got the thing uh, focused on the bee and the flower of the weed that it's sitting on, you know, that's collecting the pollen from. It provides a really, really nice uh, perspective, you know, and a really good field, depth of uh, field in that. So then that way it kind of uh, provides interest and beauty to the photo. Now here's another. Then actually, also, don't be afraid either to use editing software. So, like, for example... Uh, oh, hi. I'm gonna get going here. I gotta okay. Mom's gonna be reading good old mom. And All right. I gotta get the pieces of meat too. Okay. All right. All right. Anyways, uh, I may have deleted that one photo somehow on accident. Uh. That I was wanting to actually show, but don't be afraid to use your photo editing software, crop it, and all that when you need to. For example, you know, notice on how I got really close up to this bee, you know, that was actually coming off of the flower. Kind of provides an interesting detail, doesn't it? Well, anyways, uh, that might help you. A little bit. Also, don't be afraid to experiment around with your uh, camera either. You know, there's different effects you can apply to your camera. So, uh, you now this thing's got to refocus. Darn thing. Oh crap, what the hell? It's not one even freaking focus. I need to uh, get that Logitech thing back up. Um, Logitech, Logitech. Tech webcam software, webcam controller. Here we go. Webcam options, autofocus. I don't know what the hell happened, but anyways, there. So that'll give you some good ideas on how to improve your photographs and all that. So, like I was saying, feel free to experiment with your camera. That's what I did actually to. Uh, get better in photography and all that. I experimented with my camera. I try to get more and more and more familiar with it. So, anyways, I hope to see you guys in the next video. And, uh, hey, try to take photographs. Also, just keep on snapping, keep on snapping, keep on snapping, keep on snapping. Even your professional photographers uh, kind, of, kind of take many photographs. So, like... Uh, for example, you know, um, some of us may even take photographs of things you n never even thought of, such as, hold up, that, <laughs> my iris, the iris in my eyeball. Actually, what's kind of neat, too, that you can see the muscular structure that actually looks pretty much like sponge. And then it's like, there's like a wall there or something. I don't know what the heck that is. But, um... Hey. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, we'll... Even I'll do uh, some weird freaking photographs. So, um... I think I've even taken some photographs of uh, weird-ass shit, too. Uh, such as our dog's nose. That one wasn't such a great photo, but um, just keep on snapping, keep on snapping, keep on snapping. You know, eventually you'll start getting better. So um, <coughs> <coughs> and also food is a good thing to uh do. Also, another thing that I did not cover, uh, so, um, also, here's another thing that I did not cover, uh, that I totally forgot. Not only is there a rule of thirds, but there's also 
way on how you can do things diagonal, kind of like, I hate this, kind of going like that, or that. <laughs> Ow! Fuck! Ow! Damn, that hurt. Anyways, so, see you guys in the next video. Um, peace out. Take photos. And keep on doing it. You'll get better. Trust me. Peace out.